I will give uh, you a short presentation about MUKIT measurement uncertainty software that we've been developing at, at SUKE. And, and the MUKIT software, uh, it is based on, on the popular NUR test guide, uh, TR537 technical report. Its first edition was published almost 20 years ago and and in 2017, uh, the edition number four was published. And you can see here also another NUR test guide for internal quality control, where you can find useful inf information on quality control charts that can be applied in uncertainty evaluation according to NUR test top down uncertainty evaluation approach. And these guys are freely available on the internet, and there are several several translations to national languages also available, at least for some earlier editions of of these guides. So Mukit uncertainty software uh, is based on uncertainty valuation approach described in North Test Technical Report, but it's also mainly based on ISO standard 11.352, uh, because this standard is also based on Nordtest Guide. However, uh, Nordtest Guide is, it was updated in a few years ago, 2017, and also we updated MUKI calculations uh, at that time accordingly. Therefore, uh, there are small differences between MUKIT and ISO 11352 at the moment, but usually standards will go under systematic revisions every five years, and currently there is a, actually an ISO ballot or voting in progress for, for possible revision of these standards. So let's see how it happens. Uh, while using the MUKIT software, laboratories can easily evaluate measurement uncertainties using the data that exists already at their laboratory. For example, using quality control sample results, repeated, measurement, uh, repeated measurements from uh, their routine samples, uh, results uh, from proficiency tests, and results from uh, recovery tests. I will uh, show you uh, some main features and screenshots uh, of the MUKIT software using uh, this calculation example, which is a total nitrogen uh, mass concentration measurement in wastewater. In this example, uh, the measurement uncertainty is evaluated using the results of routine sample replicates at different concentration levels and CRM certified reference material. In the first page of MUKIT, you can specify the measure and, and give additional information on your measurement method. There are also info text boxes that will give you further information on particular fields and provide, for example, links to the chapters of your uh, for, for, for a newer test guide. There is also a guidance on uncertainty dependence on the concentration levels that uh, for example, Eskil Salin uh, from RISE explained us yesterday. When you start your evaluation process, you need to choose the way that you are calculating first the uh, precision component, uh, uh, so within laboratory reproducibility, and the trueness component uh, method and laboratory bias. Uh, for within lab reproducibility, there are two options. You use the results from a control sample that covers uh, the whole analytical process, or you use the result from both 
control sample and routine sample replicates. For method and laboratory bias, uh, there are three options. You use the results of certified reference material, a control sample, or you used uh, inter-laboratory comparisons, proficiency test, or the data from recovery tests. In this example, I choose to use the control sample and routine sample a replicate measurement results for within laboratory reproducibility and the results from CRMs uh, for method and laboratory bias. First, uh, Muket will ask me to enter the replicate measurement results from routine sample replicates. So the real samples, uh, the way waste water in this example. Now, yesterday in the workshop, uh, duplicates were mentioned several times, uh, which is a, a typical way of making replicate measurements at testing uh, laboratories. Uh, however, there might might be more than two replicates and the number of replicates can vary between batches and between days. In this data set, I have a total of 115 replicate uh, series of replicates covering whole analytical range uh, starting from 0 0.2 to 5 milligrams per liter. Uh, one, one row uh, describes one day and the number of replicates vary from two to four per day. Uh, this data, uh, uh, they are in my Excel. I can copy them uh, there and, and paste them into the MOOCIT. Uh, uh, then they are uh, here in the in the MUKIT table. Uh, of course, uh, data could be also in the laboratory's LIM system, and you could import them from the LIMs as well to the MUKIT. Uh, MUKIT will display for a user a graph showing the dependence of the repeatability standard deviation uh dependence on the, the deviation on the concentration as eskil uh, saline presented yesterday for many instrumental methods you might observe the patterns where the higher concentrations uh, with higher concentrations the relative standard deviation remains more or less constant, and for lower concentrations, the range uh, 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 for low concentrations, the relative standard deviation becomes higher. In the MUKIT soft uh, software, you can see this dependence and, and possibly divide the concentration range to uh, two or more several sub ranges as necessary. And, evaluate uncertainty separately for these sub-ranges. For example, a relative uncertainty for, for a high level and absolute uncertainty for low le concentration level. Uh, in this example, I, I decided to divide my uncertainty evaluation into two ranges and I now removed the values over one milligrams per liter and will continue uncertainty evaluation for low range below one milligram per liter. MUKIT will calculate the pool standard deviation of the replicate series. Well, next step is to quantify the within reproducibility using the, the same stable control sample that is measured uh, that is measured in several days by different analysts by different calibrations uh, different reagent patches and so on at your laboratory in this example 
uh, CRM, certified reference material, was used as a control sample, and seven total 75 uh, measurement results uh, were collected during the period of, for example, one year from the control X chart of the laboratory. Uh, the results were entered uh, to the MUKIT software, which calculates the standard deviation and the average concentration and number of results. Uh, the next step is to quantify the method and laboratory bias, and we use in this example the exactly the same CRM results than in the previous steps. But here the bias is calculated, of course, as a difference of the CRM's certified value and the measured average concentration of the CRM. In addition, the uncertainty of the certified value of the CRM is taken into account. And all data uh, will be in, entered in, in these cells. Well, actually, all necessary data has now been introduced to the software, and, and you can have this kind of a summary report of your calculation that shows you the within lab reproducibility component, the bias component, a combined standard uncertainty and expanded uncertainty. Also, more detailed reports are uh, available uh, presenting all the six steps that are also presented in the NURTES technical approach, uh, the NURTES technical report in this approach. Uh, there are the step four uh, within lab reproducibility from control samples and, and routine sample replicate measurements, as well as uh, the calculations for, for the method and laboratory bias. And also possible to uh, calculate uh, for higher concentration range as a relative measurement uncertainty where all the uncertainty components are presented in in a relative as relative as percentages okay uh, this uh MUKIT software uh, is uh, available at our website Version 3.0.3 is currently available and it's a free for chart. You can charge, you can download it there and you see the website there in the below in the bottom of the page. Okay, I will thank you for your attention and happy to answer any questions if there are.